welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Atullah with another new video in a previous lecture I have just shown you that how we will create our columns detailing and also how we will create our foundation detailing and in this lecture I am just going to show you that how we will create our beam detailings okay so uh, here if you see here there is our uh, foundation detailings just see here uh, how quickly we have done it uh, within two videos here mm, that is our uh, detailing actually and here that is our column detailings so here there is our column detailings just see here so if you want to see that just uh, watch our previous lecture that already I have given in description and uh, I think that will be very helpful for you so now we'll go for our uh, beam detailing so uh, for beam detailing I will just use my uh, e tabs okay and actually here uh, in my first lecture I have just created that box and also have uh, provided that description that how we'll create a uh, good pattern I mean um, for print or that uh, detailing okay so here the node project client engineer cat by uh, then uh, sorry uh, take by cat by uh, drawing titles then here everything is available okay and uh, when you will just place that in your client then I think it will be very very helpful for you so now I will just show that how we will create our beam detailing and before starting I'm just requesting uh, if you new here you can watch our previous video and if you hear and also if you're a civil engineer and also I think that if you hear that means I mean uh, as you hear that means you're a civil engineer so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon because uh, this channel is only for you so I'll just open our e tabs so just see here this is your uh, e tabs and uh, here I'll just consider our one one beam actually so uh, here I can consider that beam uh, okay that beam or okay I'm just considering that beam with a can deliver portion I think that will be very very helpful for you so I'm just considering that one now so for that um, I just I'll just create that here I will just create that detailing and before that I will just go our uh, US unit cause that was my first unit here actually so here there is our uh, columns okay one two three columns and there is our beams right so I'll just go here and uh, the distances I'll just consider here 4 feet and here I'll consider uh, suppose 13 feet and here also I'll consider 13 feet okay for my work purpose and uh, when uh, actually uh, for your time do it perfectly as per your design dimension okay so I'll just open AutoCAD and from here as uh, I have uh, setup unit here as in I mean in our APS uh, unit that's why I'm just so first of all here take a line so from here just uh, obviously open I mean on your ortho then here just give here uh, four feet okay four feet then enter so that is the four feet line right then uh, when it's done now go for 13 feet now go for 12 feet so it's done okay now I'll just escape and if I select here sorry uh, escape that was not 30 uh, 12 I have just mistakenly have taken it as a 12 ins so I'll just go here and 12 fit then enter so it's done 
okay it's done here uh, before taking our offset for our that I mean beam dimension I'll just consider I mean uh, before taking our offset for our beam uh, beam depth I'll just draw our columns so I'll take a line here and from here I'll just from here actually I can take column here and uh, they have another uh, many way to draw columns just uh, I'll select that option and from here if you take your mouse here just see here that is the in point for our that beam so I'll take a line here or I'll take line in below or top it's up to you oh, sorry here I'll take a line as a just consider the one fit okay it's done uh, and now I'll just consider our co column section is 12 inch okay our column section is 12 inch so I'll take offset O then enter I'll offset 6 inch then enter and I'll take its offset from that part that set to that set okay then escape this is our 12 inch column so I'll just select and delete that and I'll take trim tier double enter then delete that and delete that so it's done right again I'll just go here and I will find out our the second point here here is our another point so I'll go top uh, it's one fit then I'll just escape and I'll just similarly offset or oh, enter then six is enter then here on and here on. I'll just delete that one and I'll use trim tier double enter then delete and delete so it's done right it's done now here take line here also sorry the one fit escape okay and here I mean from here uh, I'll just take offset again oh then take 12 pins so from here I'll just take offset here it's done and uh, I'll just take trim tier it's done I'll just sorry enter enter it's done so when it's done okay when or uh, the process is done now they have two way you can again draw that uh, I mean you can draw your dimension in velo in same way but i will just take a mirror line to make it very easily so i'll take mirror so to take mirror i'll just take a line from here i mean uh just to have to consider what is our beam depth so from here i'll just uh know our beam depth so there have one way so right click and here our beam depth us and beam size us 10 inch into 1.5 10 inch into 1. Uh, sorry uh, 15.5 5 inch so here 15.5 that means 7.5 7. 7.75 uh, 7, uh, 7 okay so I'll just close that and from here I'll just take a offset control O then offset what how much the offset will be 7.75 inch right then enter and take your offset here so this done now I'll take mirror okay I'll take mirror so to uh, before taking mirror I'll just select full portion here except that one so it's now take mi then enter specify the first point of mirror line so this is our first point and 
is the second point of mirror light this is our second point then enter just see here it's done now delete that so it's done actually now simply I'll just connect that point this is the just see here it's done actually okay and here I'll connect that point also this is the end of the beam just see here our uh, the shape of our beam is ready right now I'll just take it and from here I'll just use a stop ortho mode so from here I'll just take a point here and from here I'll just draw sorry con escape control control Z and uh, zoom it and from here take it so from here take a point here and uh, from here take a line suppose here and stop your ortho mode from here 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 again here and here so it's done right now simply we can copy that for everywhere so I'll just select wall okay it's done now CO then enter and take the base point I'll just consider that is as a base point and I will move it everywhere just see how simply we have created our beam shape okay so in this way we can draw our beam shape so in our next video I'll just show you that how we'll create our I mean uh, how we'll create here our river placement where we'll place the river and how much river we'll place with crank bar okay so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to get every update ever first and like our video share our video with your engineer friend and also leave a comment because your own like and own comment is paris for the next work so thank you thank you very much